Okay, project of the day. Changing out garbage disposal. This is the old one. It's uh, it's leaking. It's it's all rotted out. I think it's leaking through the bottom, through the motor. To remove the old one, it was under the sink like this, right? You push the flathead screwdriver here and you turn it the uh, uh, clockwise. Okay, that would uh, unlock it from what what's hanging. See these three things? These three little clip. They clip on to this ring. See how this ring is at an angle? See the more you turn, oh I'm sorry, uh, clockwise in terms of looking from the bottom to tight and uh, counterclockwise if you look from the bottom to undo. So those three tap each goes in one of these three and as you turn it's tight okay so that's just to undo this from what's keep it hanging to remove this assembly from the sink uh, what you have to do is this three bolts you have to unscrew those So well, let me explain how it goes in first so it's easier to know how it goes in, to, how to undo it. It goes in by this go from the top of the sink into the sink. So this is all you see from the, when you're doing the dishes, right? So this part is underneath. And then this would go in there. There's no screw or anything, just hanging. There's putty on both sides, right, to keep it from leaking. So it goes like that, and then this would go on here, and and those three bolts um, pull this these two together, right? So what keeps this from moving? Because you know, obviously, if you tighten the bolt, this is gonna come out. Well, it's retained in in here by this ring. Okay, so this go through the sink from underneath. You put this in first. Then you put, put this in, then you lock it by, you know, prying this ring. It's, it's not a complete ring, it's an opening here. So it, it can, um, the, the, the diameter can increase. So it increases so that it falls into this ridge, okay? Once it's in the ridge, this cannot come back out anymore. So that's when you do the three bolts in there, and that's when pull this down push that up okay so so to reverse you undo the ring undo the three bolts take this out take this out and uh, put it in it's the same thing so see this ring this retainer ring I have to pop that out once I pop it out I can undo everything and reverse okay another thing I want to I meant to my other video. Remember, my sink was clogged, my disposal was clogged, and I told you. <laughs> get a light. In the middle, there's a nut that you can put a socket on and turn. You notice this, and actually, let me see. Yeah, just garbage down there, all rotten. This new one doesn't have the bolt so if we have a piece of glass or a piece of bone that got caught remember on the other video I was showing you how to undo it well, how do you turn this one well this one even though it doesn't have the bolt it has that little um, triangular thing right the center of the screen right the center so it's a little bit above that bolt that little metal thing triangle that's sticking up that allows you to put a broomstick or a big screwdriver and 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 pry against that where this old one you know you can try to pry at those two little twirler thing but not very successful that's so the, the, the nut is good here but here you put a broomstick 
the end of the broomstick and go for that little triangle notch. Before you do that, I was trying to see if you can visually look around to see if you see that bone or maybe a, uh, a screw or something, you know, for somebody dropping there. Fish that out first. If you, you can't fish it out, by the way, try to suck out all the water, let it dry a little bit, and if there's a bunch of um, garbage in there, because, you know, the, the, let's say the bone caught it, and you couldn't spin, so there's a bunch of other garbage. Just uh, trying to get it dry up and just uh, put a, a vacuum cleaner hose and just suck out the trash so you can you can see what's the real uh, thing that stuck the blade. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna see if I can, oh, by the way, this one, the reset is up front. Remember this one, the reset is at the bottom. Bottom right there. This one's right front. This is uh, half a horsepower. This is one and a quarter horsepower. Got this at Costco. How much is it, mummy? It's like a hundred dollars. It's like a hundred dollars, Costco. But it it doesn't. I didn't have to wire it. Comes with a plug, so I had to uh, made a receptacle for it. Okay, let's put it back. Okay, so now we're gonna install this uh, plane. First thing we need to do is, it comes already locked, so we need to unlock and uh, get it apart. To do that, you uh, put a screwdriver in here and pop. Can't do this. And pop this out. There you go, that's the ring. And then this come out. That ring prevents this from coming out, right? So when it doesn't come out, when you tighten the screw, um, that's how you hold the thing. This come out, everything. So all this gonna be under the sink. This gonna be the only thing on top going down. So we're gonna put some uh, Plumber's putty, make a little rope, put around here, and then just like, clean that. So put it down and just put some weight on it. But the manual said don't turn it. Just just go straight down and just. And then we're gonna put this up, put this in, put snap the retaining ring back and then screw, and that will tighten it down, okay? Okay, got the putty. Didn't get too much, but... Okay, this just goes down, right the center. Okay. And as we tighten it, it's gonna squirt some of that putty out and then we'll clean that up. Okay, so now it's all the work gonna be down here. Okay, no putty down here because there's a, a gasket. Okay. We got it in. And actually you can see the putty get squeezed out under here too. It's squeeze out all over. Look at the top. Look at the odd extra putty. <laughs> I did put a lot. So we just cleaned this up. We'll clean that up. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, so it's gonna go in like this. This is for the uh, dishwasher. It's gonna pump them here and get stuff get grinded too. This is for the drain and I need to, this is the old one, I need to reuse this elbow. So I need to undo this and reuse this because this is gonna go there. Okay, got this in. Interesting, they switched to a metric, 10 millimeter instead of the old uh, Yeah, it's 
10 millimeter. The old, the old one is 3.8. Finally. Okay, this uh, plastic hose is from the dishwasher. So when you're done putting this, um, you you have to make sure that this line go above it. It goes out above this hydrostatically. Otherwise, when this is like you got a lot of uh, let's say you dump a lot of water out of a pot, it will backflow into your dishwasher. Okay, so it has to go. This line has to go above. That means because it's gonna be right here. So I put it like in between these two sink, so it goes higher. Okay. Okay, we're running into a little trouble. This elbow isn't long enough to clear this. So now my little ear, when I try to tighten, is hitting against here, so I can't tighten it. So either go buy a longer elbow, or I'm just gonna cut the two plastic ear off and just use a plier to, to tighten this. We'll see. Okay, so I just cut off the two plastic ear, the little tap with the with a box cutter and it's just hammer it down, chop it off. Okay so I put everything in and I realized I forgot to uh, punch out this hole. By default this is this uh, exhaust port is not open uh, for people who didn't have a dishwasher. Uh, but if you have one and you want to use it, they kind of prescribe it already to where you just um, just um, get a a, a big screwdriver and just tap it out and it'll, it'll crack that scribe. And I think that piece is going to fall in here and then you fish it out from the top. Unless you can kind of dig it out from here. So I have to do that now. So actually, it's like a plastic cap. You can see that. So I think I just see if I can come in with the screwdriver and pry it out. Uh, the instruction said not to use a screwdriver. Just knock it out with a wooden dowel and then retrieve it or grind it up I think I'll retrieve it this will not damage the disposer in any way but may take some time to grind <laughs> so here's the plug just got it up so it's all in plugged in let's see if we have power Okay, so now we do the leak test and then we'll, we'll throw something in there too, maybe some ice. Fill up like a, a little pot to do a one time dump. Okay, seem to be working. I dumped half a bucket of water. Uh, by the way, I put this little flappy thing back. It came with the thing. Uh, there's no leak. So remember, this? I talked about this. See, this gotta go, go way up here. Had to go higher. The higher it goes, the better. Uh, meaning, if this is stopped up and you start filling up, then it's still gonna be backflowing to the dishwasher. So the highest you can go, the better. 
Okay, that's it. One more thing I forgot to say. This new disposal comes with this collar that looks like it has magnet, mag, uh, magnetic in it, some magnet. And it's supposed to wrap around this, this flat part. I, I, I can only assume is to suck some something that attracted the magnet, some iron that you accidentally drop in there. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I'll wrap around it and it has a a button. Let's see, you can just snap it in. Okay, so it's in. Again, I have no idea what it does, but I deduce that's what it does. It's, it's gonna suck some iron, anything that attracts a magnet from the inside.